I went to great lengths to avoid practicing whenever I could, in including at one point I think I made a tape recording of myself practicing scales that I would then uh, 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 play through, the, through the, the stereo system while I read comic books oh. uh, to fool my parents into thinking that I was practicing. Um, but uh, I'm really glad that uh, I stuck with it um, because, uh, you know, in my, in my line of work, having that kind of training um, means you can work quickly and not have to wait to be inspired. Now, you made these recordings of yourself playing. Yeah. Uh, did you ever play with the recordings? Because that's pretty innovative. Well, you know, I, I consider that studying, too, okay. in a way, because um, not only... Uh, not only do I feel it was quite ingenious, but also, um, you know, uh, uh, a 16-year-old kid playing with reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders, and, and it, it did sort of, that was all part of experiments I was doing with recording pianos, and, and um, absolutely one of the things I enjoyed doing was recording one part, and then playing it back, and then playing another part, sort of being able to do a forehand piano piece by yourself. Um, and that's, of course, a lot of what I do here now is, you know, play one part and then play another part. So it's See, all building on that. That was leading you up to this. Yeah. 